Hello and welcome to Solid Cat. Today we are going to make this simple part here in SolidWorks. Uh, let me close this down. Save all. Okay. Don't save. I will start new drawing. And this is its drawing. 160 millimeter outer dia, 16 millimeter this cut out here four numbers and this is the this is four numbers here 28 millimeter dia and 14 millimeter dia four places 50 millimeter is PCD uh, P P dia of this and 40 millimeter dia of this 110 millimeter PCD of this uh, this uh, holes here 130 millimeter of these holes here these cuts here so let's start and this is 70 millimeter and depth is 15 10 millimeter and 80 millimeter is outside and the 5 millimeter uh, deep is the uh, hole which is 30 millimeter in dia 30 millimeter dia and 5 millimeter deep and rest of this is the 80 60 millimeter dia here and there is a chamfer here of 2 millimeter and 45 degree 39 is total height so let's start here I will draw the front plane I will draw a center line first like so and uh, I will see to it then I will draw a line here like so like so let me give it a dimension this is and this one is coincident and this dia is 60 millimeter and this is 30 millimeter and this is 80 70 millimeter and this one is 80 millimeter and uh, this is 10 millimeter and this one is 5 millimeter and total height is 39 millimeter and this one is 11 millimeter and this dia is 160 millimeter 160 like so now I will revolve it the sketch is fully defined I will revolve it revolve boss base this is done on this surface I will draw a couple of circles here of 40 millimeter and 50 millimeter like so I will cut it up to 3 millimeter 3 millimeter is shown here this is 3 millimeter here and this is the depth of this cut out here this uh, cut here so let's cut it up to 3 millimeter okay like so on this surface I will draw a center line like so and I will offset it I will make uh, better make but uh, I will better draw first the PCD which is uh, 130 millimeter and it is construction geometry I will need I will delete this I will go to a uh, slot and I will give it dimension of 8 millimeter so it will become 16 millimeter I will go to 
circular pattern and this one is the center and this one is four times the point is wrong place is delete the point is like so okay I will just nudge it a bit I will move it to center and it will automatically fully define I will cut it through all okay this is done on this surface I will draw a center line like so and I will give it a dimension if I go up there and select this this will give me the angle angle is 45 I will offset it offset it 14 millimeter bi-directional like so I will convert this entity convert and I will trim the things I don't need anymore I will draw I will draw PCD of 110 millimeter and make it construction I will draw a circle here of 14 millimeter and I will offset it 7 millimeter okay okay I will trim it I'll trim the extra this one is 28 millimeter uh, R14 okay it's already defined this is 14 this is 14 this is 14 here and this one and this one I will select this and this and make it coincident the the problem is that uh, the angle is gone so I will select uh, for angle this is 45 okay angle is 45 and it will angle is 45 degree but it is not uh, fully defined it should be fully defined uh, let me delete this first I will draw the center line from here to there and I will give it a dimension of 45 millimeter 45 degree okay now I will make this this and this this is fully defined I will trim the extra this one is extra and uh, I will delete these and this also I will like so I will draw a line from here to there and I will make these parallel and I will give it a dimension from here to there is 14 millimeter like so I will trim the extra 
like so and I will mirror it mirror about this about this okay the sketch is fully defined I will extrude it up to 24 millimeter this I will extrude it up to 24 millimeter okay I will wake this up again and uh, I will cut extrude I will use only this and through all okay this is done I will select select these both I'll go for a circular pattern I will give this four numbers 360 degree okay this is this is done and there is there are holes here of three millimeter I will draw a center line from here to here and I will draw from the center of three millimeter hole and I will cut it through all through all okay this is done I will select this and circular pattern this and number of instance 12 like so this is done and there are fillets all over I will select this and fill it of one millimeter I will select this 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 and this one everything is selected okay the part is almost complete only the finishing is the appearance is required so I will give it an appearance of like something like this it looks good there are fillets also here but we don't want these fillets here but SOLIDWORKS fortunately provide us with a very handy tool this is delete face delete and patch okay so this is done there is one more thing to do I will take the front plane I will draw a rectangle here from here to there I will draw a center line and I will make this I will make this symmetrical this is 20 millimeter and this is 5 millimeter like so now I will cut it through all okay this is done I will select this and uh, circular pattern number of instances 4 okay now the part is complete I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and please subscribe